Hey everybody, it's your friend Sarmite here, and we're back with another episode of Settlement Survival. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. A couple things we're going to work on in this episode, we got to work on our salt production a little bit. It's a little bit low. Uh, we want to work on getting to Corral, which we should be able to do. We're going to revisit our leatherware and our cart ring workshop. Those just finished up. And I'd like to get some more beer and coffee going on. And I think we should work on getting towards a jam workshop. So let's go ahead, we'll get our technologies first. We're gonna go ahead and go into agriculture, animal slaughter, and corral, done and done. Now the corral is gonna require some planks, brick, and rope. We'll be able to handle that just fine. And this is the only way we can get horses and donkeys. The yield is increased by 50% if used to raise other animals. And if we go to our logistics tab, animal power is the next step that we have. So let's go ahead and we'll get this activated right now. We don't have any horses and donkeys right now, so we can't really take advantage of this just now. But uh, we can work on that as well in this episode. Okay, so let's address the salt issue we were talking about here. So we have two new salt works that we did uh, last episode and the episode before. We only have two people in each. Let's start by cranking that up with two additionals apiece. So a total of four more workers. Let's see what that does. We're probably gonna need a little bit more salt going in so we can continue to operate our stuff like our curing workshop. Uh, soap is another thing that's utilizing salt. Pretty low on that as well. So I'm really thinking we're probably gonna need another salt work. Let's just go ahead, we'll put it in. All right, so let's get this other salt work started right in there. And we'll get a little bit of a road tied in. Another thing that I was kind of working on just very briefly, I'm, you know I'm not very good at it, but we were putting in some decorations. I did put in some hedgerows over in here to try and increase the appeal of the, the Sun Temple here. And then also like up over in here, I put some fences around our campfire. Just a couple little dumb things and just to increase it a little bit. While we're here, we might as well take a peek at these. And it looks like we have a good amount of points, 2,000. So let's take another look at what we can do here. So in the last episode, we got the betting house. And in this episode, we could really get the casino going on. So we need some gold statues. I guess we can't quite do that. We don't have any gold sand going on yet. But it's something that we could start to work on. Another thing that we could do, let's try to get the restaurant here. We need 10 silver cutlery, similar to the casino here. We don't have the cutlery yet. But let's get that unlocked. We can order 10 silver cutlery pretty simply. So let's go ahead and we'll go to our tourism. Let's get our restaurant going on as well. Let's get our restaurant going on here. I think that's a good spot right there. We'll get that going. And we'll come back over to the other side over in here and get one place here as well. All right, that'll be wonderful. Now we did get one of our dense forest farms completed. We have this little guy here that was producing bamboo for us. I also had a caravan that brought some bamboo back. And now we got this guy here that's producing some bamboo for us. Uh, right now we're not really doing anything with bamboo besides trying to build dense things. So that's what's more important right now. So that's what we're working on with that front. I would like to come over in here in our new neighborhood here, which I had said that I was going to build up in between episodes. So there you go. I did a little bit of that. I would like to put in some dense stuff over in here. Dense farms, dense orchards. Uh, the dense orchards, which we could grab right now. Let's just do that while we're thinking about it. I'm going to put it right on the back side of this nice senior home back here. We'll do that. And what I want to do with the dense orchards is put in our jam workshop because we got sugar in the last episode, remember? So if we go to our town details here, you can see we have grape seeds. Two years seeds planting in the orchard that we yield grapes can be used at the brewery. So if we go to our winery and we go to wine, there's grapes. So we can absolutely do this. It'd be really good to get some wine going on. Can relieve citizen stress for a period of time and grants a health bonus. And I was looking at this. We're not doing very great with our city stress. 60% right now. We need to get this stuff figured out. So I think the wine will be a great addition to our little winery going on. I need to verify that we can actually use our grapes for sugar because I, I was thinking that's what they were for. But so let's just verify here about our sugar workshop that we can actually utilize our grapes for that. No dates. OK, so we had the sugar cane. That's what we're going to use for sugar. So let's get that going. Misspoke when I said grapes. I will use our grapes for the winery. Get all that working right in here. Coming back over in here, we have some of our dense farms that we placed in the last episode. They are getting built up. Let's go ahead and we need to get some things happening here. We're gonna do some oat seeds like crazy in here. So we'll do that. And I'm kind of watching our food here and it's not looking that great. Let's do some more peas in here. They'll yield some pretty good things. And we'll just kind of go a little bit like that. We'll do like half and half. That's underway, looking all right. 
we have enough sugar cane going on right now. 3,000 stored up, so we'll be good to go with some sugar. That's looking great. Let's come up over here to processing. We got our sugar refinery, got our sugar workshop, and got the jam workshop. Let's get the jam workshop going in here. And I think this might have been what I was uh, mistaking for uh, the sugar wor uh, workshop here. Let's get the jam workshop going, and then we can see what we can utilize. Some grapes for that. It's grape jam. That's the thing, right? So let's get that uh, going here. So here's our winery. We could use some more. Oh, we could use some more beer going on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get that going. And then once we get some grapes happening, then we can um, utilize those guys for some wine. Put another winery in. Beer is something that I want to get going a little bit more of. Uh, not only for our pubs, which is an important piece, but also just for the town in general. So let's see what beer says again. Can increase the citizen's health. So right now our health and happiness is okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, but it could be better. So that's something that I want to get really nailed down is some beer. Uh, coffee would also be another good thing. How are we looking for coffee stocks? 20. Yeah. So, whoa. Earthquake. Okay. That's a little bit of a thing there, I guess. Okay, but let's go ahead. I want to see what we got for some coffee. Coffee current stock is pretty low at 70. And then if we say coffee beans, what are we looking at? 8,934. So what we need to do is refine some of those a little bit more in the tea shop. Go ahead and we'll plop a tea shop right in there. And, you know, let's go ahead. We might as well put one more down over in here as well. Jam workshop. Okay, so let's see. So chestnuts. There we go. We can use chestnuts for jam. But what we wanted to verify was grape. There is the grapes. Excellent. Okay, so what I want to do, let's exclude chestnuts because we're using those in other places. But everything else is going to be all right. So, yeah, let's get some grapes going on. Get that uh, up and operational. Then we can utilize that for some jam. And that'll be good. That'd be a very good thing to get going. But for now, we need to get this built up first, and then we'll come over here and get this thing built up probably for our bamboo. And then these other two things are going to utilize the bamboo. So what we could do, of course, is go for a little bit of a trade. We did want to pick up some silver cutlery. So let's go ahead. We're going to visit Carlos. We're going to crank that up to 10. We're going to sell some things. I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and I'll bring it back. All right, Carlos, we got a bunch of things that we're going to sell and then we're going to buy the 20 silver cutlery. So 10 for each of those restaurants, I think it was. And then I'm I'm going to buy the gold statues for the casinos. So one a piece. So there we go. We're going to have those. We'll have those goods here and we can take advantage of those. Down at 30 laborers. I was kind of going crazy with laborers, building up a lot of stuff and trying to get that going on here. It looks like we're kind of whittling our laborers down, which that's all right, I guess. We're getting what we need done. Let's add a couple more workers to our salt shop here. Get that coming in a little bit better. Oh, merchant at the dock. Let's go ahead and see what they have. We have enjoy life, organized bag, silver ore, and a couple other things. We have a lot of this. I mean, enjoy life is really good. We have one already. Let's go ahead and we'll buy one more. We should have some schools around here. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's adjust one of these. Here's a new book for that school, enjoy life. Change it out. There we go. Get that happening. Great. So we could build a couple of other schools or so. We have 127 kids that aren't going to school right now. I wonder why that is, because we got four here. Maybe they're just too young to go to school. That, that's probably it. Let's see, we got 13. Yeah, so we do have some wiggle room. We don't need another school, I guess, but okay, we got that happening. Oh, dense force farm, bamboo. These guys are coming along too, so that's gonna be great. We'll have those guys built up shortly. And let's go back up to our trader real quick. I wanna see what we got for factions. So bamboo, yes, we can use our bamboo for bamboo baskets. And I think we can use the bamboo in the paper mill as well. So a couple of uh, good things there. Utilizing the bamboo for baskets over our reeds would be a good idea because then we can use reeds for other stuff. We have a good amount of them, I guess. So let's keep this set up for baskets for right now. And then we will adjust a little bit later. Let's get a second worker in there, get some more shoes happening. Okay, get that going on. That's looking great. And then food is in the red, but you know, these band things kind of skew that number a little bit. And we're looking at 11,000 peas, so I think we're doing okay with that, really. 10,000 oats is a lot. We'll get, the, we'll get those oats utilized here and get some more beer coming in. We have a little bit of a stock of beer now. That's very good. We really needed to get that going. Uh, maybe you guys can help me with this. So I'm a little confused on the wording with uh, reserve here. So what I would like to do, since we have so many oats, in, in this case, let's let's call this 8,000 for an easy number. So if we have a reserve, if we click this at like 4,000, does that mean I'm going to have 
a minimum of 4,000 oats in reserve all the time. What I would really like to do is have some of the oats being eaten and then have the reserve for the beer. That, that's what I'm not certain what the reserve is for. So if anybody knows that, please let me know because I would like to get that uh, fine-tuned a little bit more. Holy cow, where did all of our laborers go? Down to three. I missed that, definitely. Let's go ahead and we'll get some peas going on in here. Actually, you know, broccoli would be good. Let's do that. Then we can keep making sure that our veggie processing plant is still working for us. We do have some immigrants on the timeline, which is wonderful. We'll be able to replace some of those people, but we just got to cool our jets a little bit here while we wait for uh, those people to get here. So eight people are dedicated to the dense orchards here that we just completed. Let's get all those grape seeds going so that we can really get our jam happening. Tea shop. We are just talking about getting some coffee over in here. Let's go ahead and we'll do that. And I gotta be careful with those laborers. I don't wanna go too crazy. And beer over in here. Beer production is at 500. We're looking, we should be looking pretty good for beer. These numbers should be reflecting that soon. And this is for health again. So we'd like to get over 100 if we can, but we're kind of, kind of low. We need a little bit more work for that. Okay, a couple things coming along here. We're pretty low on work. There's only one. Let's see what we can do as far as processing other things goes here. Now that we do have oats and we will have jam, we could make the bread shop. We have a mill too. Let's, um, do we have cows for milk? We don't have cows for milk. So bread shop might be something that we start to really think about here pretty soon. Another thing that we could do is uh, get to the barbecue. There's a whole bunch of different recipes in here uh, for, for more fancier foods, a little bit better food. We could do that as well. Oh, and this is really good. Look at this. Unlock their model option, enrich courses for school type structures, number of available textbooks plus one. Let's do that. What's this? Our model hand out textbooks for school type structures. The possibility of gaining additional abilities increases by 20%. Okay, yeah. We will do that. Uh, we'll do the market expansion later. Let's do those two things for our school. Come up over in here. Um, we need to do enrich courses. We need a lot of paper for that. This remodeling cannot be removed. We should have enough paper for that. What do we got here? Handouts? We need books. Okay. Expansion takes a little bit of silk. Okay, yeah, let's do enrich courses. Just dedicate a little bit of paper to that. What do we got here? Drunkards? Okay, so this is going to be the opposite when we pick here. A bunch of drunkards were lighting the campfire and holding a party near the city. Unexpectedly, they started to argue about which wine was better and asked others and you to judge. Tequila is better or whiskey? I'm gonna say whiskey is better. There it is. Tequila, 200. We got that happening. We got this school upgraded. And then lastly, boom, there we go. Okay, great. We got that going on just perfectly. How's our trader doing? Pretty soon it'll be back, get those workers, and then we do have the immigrants shortly after that. Cool. And then our restaurants are gonna get completed. Okay, so one thing else that I wanna look at here is how's our situation on housing so we need four we got four people in that one and five people in that one we're doing all right with housing so with the immigrants on the way let's uh go ahead and we'll prepare for a couple more people as you can see these are all luxury houses i'm trying to do those more often because we did have the puppy and the cat upgrades i got those tucked into a couple of these houses over in here so i'm going to go ahead and just copy a couple more luxury homes and start to lay them out a little bit more in this area. All right, a couple more houses coming in over in here. All luxury houses, again, trying to focus on that, trying to get our, uh, our stress down as low as we can get it. So those are on the way, looking great. We almost have our immigrants here, perfect. We can utilize those people, there they are walking in right now. Caravan's back as well, looks good. Lots and lots of stuff coming in from the fields, also super awesome. You know what I noticed that we don't really have very close here is a good storage space. We do have the storage yard, but that's at 110% inventory, obviously pretty full. So this is all going to be wasted. All these farmers are carrying their goods to the nearest warehouse. This one's full. These are all full. We really, really, really need to get some better storage going on in this area. We can see all this stuff getting wasted. So let's grab those immigrants before it's too late, before we forget about them. Town Hall, 31 immigrants, that's a pretty good batch. So we'll go ahead and accept those people back up to 41. Awesome. And then let's come back over in here, as we just mentioned, warehouse, warehouse. And let's go for, we'll do two down over in here. And then we probably can add in another one of these smaller warehouses. Uh, can we tuck it in right here? Perfect. Look at that. Great. So lots more storage coming in. That's perfect. We're going to do that. Then these guys don't have to go so far. 
uh, coming off the fields and uh, we'll get a little bit more out of our fields that way. Sweet, it looks like our quarry is, um, well, it looks like it's spent here. We're gonna upgrade to the senior quarry, get those guys going. This guy should be a senior quarry, yep, sure is. And, oh, it sounds like we leveled up with Carlos, excellent. So one thing that I was also thinking about, we need to upgrade our roads here. So what I like to normally do is when I'm working with uh, the factions here, especially with Carlos, and we get to obsidian and then i use the obsidian solely for well trades and uh of the obsidian road so i guess it's not solely for that but so i like to get to carlos here and i like to utilize the obsidian roads so i i trade with some obsidian and but most of it is going for roads and this is going to increase the walk speed by 125 percent it's very very good and there really isn't a whole lot of other stuff that obsidian is used for pushing on to level two with carlos though since we got that we got some tequila seeds now we can start utilizing those agave plants for agave clothes we can also make tequila and we can get some rope and use that as our technology experience increaser in the research institute so kind of an interesting thing there i would like to upgrade the roads but on how to do that the proper material at this point i'm not sure what to do but we are looking pretty good with our stock on stone now 1800 we're getting there uh, we were really really struggling with stone for a long time so i'm hesitant to just go ahead and dump a bunch of stone into the roads when we're going to upgrade that anyways so maybe what we want to do here, let's keep trading with Carlos. We'll keep working on it. Let's get to the obsidian and we'll just do our obsidian roads. It makes these really, really nice, dark, beautiful black roads and it looks awesome. Very happy with it. How the devs did that. There's a couple other fun roads in this game. Uh, if you don't want to do obsidian, you can do uh, brick roads. And this is with the brick, obviously. And then there's Luxury Avenue, which you can do gold roads and you can do jade roads. So I don't know if I've ever done jade before, but I've done gold. The gold looks really cool as well. It's really neat to see the whole town in, in uh, the gold roads. I believe in the beginning of each episode, I have that little uh, clippy thing that I'm doing. That town has the gold roads in it. So you can take a quick little peek. It doesn't last for very long on the beginning of the episode, but yeah, pause it and check those out. This is pretty cool if you want to see what the gold road looks like. So yes, Obsidian, that's what we're going to be working towards next, I think. Small trading post. Again, visit Carlos. Let's get this set up. Okay, setting up with Carlos. We've got 12,000 silver coins worth of items going out. It's iron statues we got going on now. These are very, very good trade resource. You can see 40 silver coins each. Got some coffee beans, some iron tools, and some porcelain. And I thought, let's get some mulberry leaves. So we got these guys coming in as well. And what I'm thinking for for that... Oh, man. See? So this is a problem. I forgot to pause the game. I thought we, you know, we had 40 people. We'd be good. Uh, no. You don't pause the game, and you need 10 people for your caravan, and then you get below 10, just like I just did. You can't form. You can't go anywhere. So, yeah. We can't do this. But we have an idea of what we want to do uh, once we can do it. So, yes. I was thinking mulberry leaves because uh, we want to of course build our silkworm shed and get some silk coming in and we'll be able to do that with the mulberry leaves okay so what we could do we uh working on some coffee yeah let's keep that going i guess right, let's see if there's anything that's super excessive here's our mine that uh, currently is inoperable because it's empty go ahead and get our upgrades queued up for that uh, so we get 10 people back from that looks like this quarry is still getting worked on so okay Let's go back to our small trading post and let's try this again. Oh, it saved it? Oh, man. This game just gets better and better. Okay, we'll form it. We're good to go. Go visit Carlos and do our mulberry trade. Got some visitors to the town checking out some stuff and things. We've got our restaurant here. Okay, so our restaurant, let's see what this thing can use. So we do have a cafe. And uh, as you would expect, I guess, the restaurant here is very top end things. So we don't have any tofu, we don't have any popcorn, we don't really have any of this stuff right now. So let's go ahead, we'll turn that off. Tofu is something that we we could work on. Uh, if we go to our factions and then we go see the out, we did get tofu, but we don't have any soybeans. So let's verify here. Yep, I don't see any soybeans. So let's go ahead, if we just go to our trader, we have a second one now, remember? I know we don't have the workers for this, but I want to see what is it going to cost us to purchase some of uh, some soybean seeds 10,000 oh okay so that's an idea we could do that another thing to point out though already 8,000 silver coins we're getting very close to having the 60,000 that we've been working on now for several episodes so that we can get some mulberry seeds 
so that we can start that process for ourselves instead of having to trade for mulberry leaves like we just started to do and you know i think we're gonna go ahead we'll grab our market expansion here and increase the market building influence by 20 percent pretty pretty good thing there uh, so of course this is just a little bit wider it reaches just a little bit further so we'll get that happening we can cram some more houses in here now looking pretty good uh, let's work on we know we have a mill where do we where do we have that mill let's get some flour start because we were talking about doing the bread workshop we got oats let's go ahead and we'll get somebody working in here and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do flour so let's get that going we'll leave the five workers that we have for now we need some people to refresh our mine once it's completed it's almost done so we'll need people for that Corey over here is back up and operational so that took five people this quarry is up and operational as well we, you know, we could back off one of these. Let's turn this off. Since we're kind of in need of some people right now, we'll just do that. Um, I did put in a couple other carving workshops over in here, but we're looking for some steel tooling. Don't have that. Uh, so this is kind of what that's looking like. And then, oh, our leatherware hut. We have leather coming in, of course, right? But it's very slow. So we wanted to get to corrals, which we should have got to. Yeah, right. So we did that earlier. So let's go ahead, we'll get some corrals set up. And we're kind of working in this new area down over in here. So let's continue that process. Uh, let's, I wanna see what the area is on this. Okay, well this might work out just perfectly. Let's go ahead, we'll grab our corral again. Let's get a bunch of these going over in here. So we want one for alpaca, we want one for beef cows, we want one for, uh, I think we have bees. And then we'll put in one more for horses or donkeys when we get that far. So we'll get these things queued up. We can do a couple more over in here as well, but these things are going to require a good amount of planks and bricks we're really low on because our luxury homes have been utilizing our bricks and I've been building luxury homes only. These are all, all using bricks. So that's where our bricks are right now. So I think what we'll do, we'll get these queued up and get them worked on, but we will revisit those in the next episode. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Settlement Survival and have a fantastic weekend. I'll talk to you again real soon.